Have you ever faced someone who denies climate change? Perhaps you have argued passionately until you were red in the face. Or maybe you are the one who thinks it's just another fake conspiracy theory. Regardless, you are in the right place if you are seeking the shortest tutorial on the biggest alternative conceptions and biases about climate change. Let's dive in and sort them out. Myth number one. Climate change is natural. It's happened before. Yes, Earth has naturally gone through warming and cooling cycles over millions of years. These natural changes are driven by mechanisms like shifts in Earth orbit, solar activity, volcanic eruptions and natural greenhouse gas variations. For example, Earth's position relative to the Sun, known as the Milankovitch cycle, can alter climate patterns over thousands of years, while volcanic eruptions release aerosols that temporarily cool the atmosphere. However, the speed of today's warming is unprecedented. In the past, climate changes like the Ice Ages happened over thousands to millions of years, giving ecosystems time to adapt. Currently, however, global temperatures have risen by about 1.2 degrees Celsius since the late 19th century, with half of this increase happening just in the last 40 years. Ecosystems simply don't keep up at such a pace. This rapid warming is placing significant stress on nature, putting countless species at risk of extinction, damaging coral reefs and leading to severe ecological imbalance. Myth number two. CO2 isn't a big deal. Volcanoes and nature produce more. Natural sources like oceans, forests and volcanoes do emit CO2, but these emissions are balanced by carbon sinks, processes that absorb CO2 back into the Earth. Human activities, however, add around 42 to 45 billion tons of CO2 each year, primarily through fossil fuel combustion, cement production and deforestation. Currently, natural sinks like oceans and forests absorb about 20 to 22 billion tons of CO2 annually, or roughly 50% of human emissions, but this still leaves an excess of CO2 in the atmosphere each year. Since the Industrial Revolution, humans have added an estimated 1.2 trillion tons of CO2 to the atmosphere. This buildup of human-made CO2 traps heat by enhancing the greenhouse effect, a process where gases like CO2 absorb and retain heat from the sun creating a blanket effect around the planet. Naturally occurring CO2 levels kept Earth's climate stable, but the excess from human activities has steeped the balance, trapping more heat and driving global temperatures higher. This imbalance is the primary force behind recent rapid climate change. Myth number three. More CO2 is good for plants. Climate change will only create a boom in agriculture, especially in northern countries. While CO2 is essential for photosynthesis and can stimulate growth in some plants like fast-growing trees, crops and algae, its benefits are limited. High CO2 levels often coincide with climate stresses, such as extreme heat, drought and nutrient-poor soils, which restrict growth benefits and reduce crop nutrition. For example, wheat and rice grown in high CO2 conditions contain 5-10% to less protein, zinc and iron posing a threat to global food security for billions. Warmer temperatures might seem like an opportunity to expand farmland in northern regions, but climate change complicates agriculture rather than boosts it. Although countries like Canada and Russia may see longer growing seasons, the broader impacts of climate change, like extreme weather, unpredictable rainfall and thawing permafrost, often harm crop yields. Thawing soils can destabilize land and release stored greenhouse gases, making agriculture less predictable and more expensive globally, with massive adaptation efforts required to sustain food supplies. Moreover, even plants thriving in high CO2 cannot absorb all human emissions. Large-scale planting would require unsustainable land use, and CO2 stored in plants is only temporary, returning to the atmosphere when they die or burn. Effectively addressing climate change will require substantial emissions reduction and the protection of natural carbon sinks, as relying on plants is not a viable solution. Myth number four. Climate change is just a scare tactic. It's not that serious. While some view climate change is a pressing global issue, others perceive it as a narrative used to manipulate and control the public. The parallels drawn to the COVID-19 pandemic have led some to question the motivations between climate policies and the rhetoric surrounding environmental crisis. 
However, it is essential to recognize that the consequences of climate change are not fabricated. They are backed by overwhelming data and real-world impact. Rising global temperatures contribute to more frequent and intense weather events, including heat waves, hurricanes and wildfires. The past decade had seen an unprecedented number of climate-related disasters. Heat waves that once occurred once every 50 years are now happening about five times more frequently. In 2020 alone, natural disasters driven by climate change cost the world $210 billion. The question isn't whether climate change is real, but how we choose to address it. While skepticism is healthy, dismissing the overwhelming scientific evidence and lived experiences of those affected can lead to missed opportunities for meaningful dialogue and solutions. It is vital to engage critically with the narrative surrounding climate change, recognizing the need for transparency and accountability from those in power. By advocating for sustainable solutions, we can create a future that prioritizes environmental health without sacrificing our freedoms or well-being. Myth number five, climate models can be trusted, they're just guesses. Climate models are built on solid physics and decades of historical data, making them more than just guesses. They are sophisticated predictions based on science. Think of them as long-term weather forecasts that project trends rather than day-to-day -day specifics. Even with natural variability, models have accurately predicted our current warming trajectory since the 1980s. If greenhouse gas emissions continue at current rates, models predict global temperatures could rise between 2 and 4 degrees Celsius by the end of this century. This increase would trigger extreme weather patterns, rising sea levels and ecosystem disruptions on a massive scale. While models aren't perfect, they are highly reliable and are crucial for understanding our future and the various emission scenarios. Myth number six, renewable energy can't replace fossil fuels. Renewable energy is more advanced and reliable than ever. Solar and wind power are now the cheapest sources of new energy in many areas, with costs dropping by over 80% since 2010. Plus, the advanced battery storage means we can store renewable energy and use it as needed. Countries like Germany, which sources about 50% of its energy from renewables, prove that large-scale energy transition is not only possible, but beneficial. Moving to renewables could create millions of jobs worldwide, while cutting emissions and improving air quality. With current technology, renewables can meet our energy needs sustainably. Myth number seven. Climate change is just another scare, like global cooling or acid rain. Some argue that climate change is just another overhyped issue, like the global cooling scare of the 1970s or the acid rain crisis of the 1980s. But these were both real, scientifically valid concerns with effective solutions. In the 1970s, global cooling was briefly observed due to increased aerosol pollution blocking sunlight. But greenhouse gases continued to rise, and scientists confirmed long-term warming was inevitable. Acid rain was a real issue that damaged lakes and forests, but policies like the Clean Air Act reduced emissions and largely solved the problem. Unlike these localized issues, climate change is a global phenomenon, driven by greenhouse gases, and it will continue to escalate without substantial action. It's not a repeat of past scares, it's a crisis backed by decades of scientific research and data. So here we are. We've covered and debunked the biggest myths about climate change with real data and scientific insights. Unfortunately, climate change is real and it is driven by us humans. But here is the good news. By reducing emissions, switching to renewable energy and supporting policies that protect our planet, we can make a big difference. Thank you for watching this video. Good luck and be sustainable.